This is Dr. Nancy Vale Archer, and today she's at North Star Veterinary Hospital making rounds with her patients. I think all of us in the veterinary field have a passion for what we do. Uh, it's a combination of not only the medicine, but our love for animals and helping those who uh, don't have a voice. Um, and it's fascinating to be able to try to put the pieces of the puzzle together when you have a pet who can't tell you what's wrong. You have to listen to the history. You have to examine the pet. You have to watch very closely for any subtle changes. Um, and you have to know what to ask. The right questions to ask can certainly point you in the right or the wrong direction when you're trying to figure out what's wrong with a pet. Many common plants can actually be poisonous to cats and dogs. Some can be toxic to the neurologic system, uh, seizures, um, inappropriate behaviors. Some can be toxic to the gastrointestinal system. Uh, some, if they eat a certain part of the plant, for example, tomato plants, um, if they eat uh, the green sections of the plant, it's going to cause vomiting and diarrhea. Then there are other sections of the plant that actually contain components that can be dangerous for the heart. Uh, there are plants that are dangerous to cats specifically, for example, lilies. Um, some lilies can uh, cause fatal arrhythmias in cats, and many of these actually come in uh, prepared bouquets uh, that you'll get uh, from family members or during holiday seasons, and those in particular you need to be aware of, especially if you have cats that have free roam of the home. It is important to know the signs of pets affected by poisonous plants. Any unusual behavior, but any plants that are in the home, you should watch closely. If you see evidence that the leaves have been chewed on, if you notice that your pet is acting unusual in any way, if they have vomiting and diarrhea, that in itself should raise question that uh, your pet needs to be evaluated. But as part of the history, the information that you should have to prepare and make available to your veterinarian should be plants that are available to your pet. North Star Vets is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, to help you and your pets. If you ever have any concerns that your pet may have gotten into anything, whether it's a plant or it's any other toxin, or simply concerns about how they're behaving, you can always reach a veterinarian here 24 hours a day. You can contact us at 609-259-8300. Uh, you can always access our uh, website as well at www.northstarvets.com.